Hello, welcome back to Derek Watches. I'm Derek. Today I gonna teach you an unspoken secret in the watch industry, and that is polishing or touch up on the watches. So today I'm using my modded Seiko SKX,、uh, the Great Wave of the Kanagawa dial、uh, modded Seiko watch, and I have these scratches on the side of the watch because I putting my watch down on the side sometime. So these scratches is very microscopic. I know this topic is very controversial.、Uh, lots of people say just live with the scratches, and because you will make more along the way, but I would say no because I'm an OCD person. I really like my watch to be as new as possible, and same as you because you already click into this video. Obviously, you want to know how to polish or touch up a watch, and we are using Cape Cod today. It's very hard to over polish your watch using Cape Cod anyway. There's two different sizes you can buy Cape Cod on the market right now. One is the Cape Cod tin, the one I show in the video, and then another one is just a pouch. I prefer to buy the tin because. It's not that expensive. I think I bought this one within fifteen dollars, so it's a no-brainer to get a can. There will be a Amazon affiliate link in the video description. When you open up the tin, you can see five little pouches and then a pair of gloves and some polishing cloth. And one of these contain like two a full size cake cod, and then I would like to cut it down because it's more easy to work with. While using the Cape Cod, the finger cut or hand gloves are highly recommended because it's quite oily. I can always wash the watch after I polish it. I already cut down this piece before, and I'm now cutting it down even further because the smaller, it's more easy to handle. You can see how it's that in the video later. After you cut down the Cape Cod to a more workable size, and then you just need to apply it to the scratch up part of the watch. This process, you don't need a lot of force. You just need to very gently press on the Cape Cod. After a minute or so rubbing on the watch, it's time to examine the watch. I would like to use tissue paper because it's more gentle to the watch to wipe away the excess grease. As you can see, there is still a tiny bit of fogginess on the watch case, and that also can be taken care of with the Cape Cod. After the second pass, you can see it's much more better than before, and I cannot see the scratches with my naked eye. You can see I'm peeking behind the camera there and checking with my naked eye. It's pretty new. I would say it's scratch-free on the naked eye, but because this is a very high zoomed-in lens, you can still see a tiny bit, but. Uh, I think Cape Cod is just not able to take away those microscopic scratches from this point. Here's another demonstration I like to make.、Uh, this actually is my wedding ring, and you can see it's pretty banged up, and there's some deep dings and some scratches. And I'm using the same piece of the Cape Cod to polish it up. I would say the Cape Cod done a very good job. Obviously, there's a limitation to the Cape Cod because it cannot remove these deep things. And I rotate around. You can see it is unpolished on this side. And then I will rotate it back. This is the part I polished it. Just to sum it up, I think the Cape Cod is a must-have if you are a serious watch collector and you really care about your watch. And I hope this video is very educational and helpful for you. This has been Derek with Derek Watches. I will see you next time. Bye.